It's quite stunning, you know, as, a, as an object. I think it's just really a graceful, beautiful object, especially if you come out to it like this and are able to walk around. And, and even though this very, it's a very simple idea, you know, the, the, the light on it, the play of, of, of shadows around it. Uh, so it's quite striking and, and, uh, and again, quite prominent, big. And uh, so it is probably, if, if, if you know, if you'd ask people, uh, and even passerbys, I think this is something that is really quite noticeable. Because it's formless, it, it, I think it really speaks to, to what sometimes becomes the kind of um, anonymity of the, of, of the working class. It's also, I think, very interesting in how it changes over time. It, though it's clearly a figure, I think it's actually almost more about landscape in that, in that the figure is actually defined by, by what's behind it. Uh, and what's behind it really changes constantly, depending upon where you're standing, uh, depending upon the uh, uh, the light conditions, depending obviously upon the season. Sometimes it's just all white. Sometimes it's green. Sometimes it's blue. It also is a great sundial because the shadow moves around it as time goes by.